Let us see how we can multiply 7 and 6 using a base method. So we will find the base of these two numbers. And I know what you're thinking. Why do we need to like learn this through base method? You already know the multiplication result, which is 42. Let's verify though. But it's, a, it's an interesting thing to learn about because we're going to get a carry in the base method. So we have written the base of 7 and 6 respectively, which is 10 in both the cases. Let's write 7 and 6 in this fashion and let's write the supplement of both the numbers. Supplement of 7 is minus 3. Supplement of 6 is minus 4. Now what we do next is that we complete the multiplication of minus 3 and minus 4 and also we combine either of the results 7 and minus 4 or 6 or minus 3. In both the cases we will get 3. Since this is the left hand side of the result we need to put 0 on the right hand side of this result because the base is 10 we will we are just going to put one zero. and what is the multiplication of minus 4 and minus 3 it is 12 and it's positive so we'll have a positive sign and we'll put 2 because we only have a space for one digit here the other digit as a carry will flow towards left and thus the multiplication of 7 and 6 will be sum of these two results which is 30 plus 12 which is 42 therefore 7 times 6 is 42 and it's verified let's try and solve another example where carry is generated let us say we wanted to multiply 83 and 94 so the quick thing that we'll do is to write the base in both the cases base is 100 and now we will put these numbers in a vertical fashion 83 and 94 and we want to write the supplement for 83 which is minus 17 supplement of 94 is minus 6 let's place a horizontal line like that and let's combine the result 83 and minus 6 you you can also combine 94 and minus 17 and in this case i get 77 as the result this is the left hand side of the result so i will put two zeros on the right because the base is 100 now i want to add the result of multiplication of minus 17 and minus 6 into this. So I'll add minus 17 times minus 6, which is 102. I'll just quickly write it minus 17 minus times minus 6 is 102. But I only have two places to put the result. So I can only put 2 at the units place, 0 at the tens place. But this 1 is going to go as a carry on the left hand side and therefore the result is going to be 7802 which is 7802 and therefore the multiplication of 83 and 94 is 7802 so what we learn here is that when we look at the base according to that the result on the right hand side is limited according to the base we need to put number of zeros on the right hand side space and that's why in certain numbers when the multiplication of supplements overflows there is a carry generated and this is how we can find the result.